Hey guys, this is Ada coming on with a quick word. Um, I want to come on guys and talk about love because first of all, there are a lot of people who are waiting, you know, for God to send them their kingdom spouse. And you know, I understand that. But in order, you know, to be prepared for all that, we need to really understand what love is. And, you know, in today's media, I can't help but to mention you know, all that I see with young people getting into the wrong relationships. You know, some of them even say that, you know, God sent these people. So, you know, to make sure that we have a good understanding of what love is and what love is not. I'm going to read the scripture 1 Corinthians 13. Because as a young woman, I was disillusioned about uh, love. Because, you know, we all kind of live in that little fairy tale where we want to be you know a princess and we want to be carried off by our um knight in shining armor but guys god's way and the world's way is totally different and god's way is the way of stability it's the way of soundness um there are things that you can kind of do to protect yourself and your emotions from falling into a trap so and this is more i guess for the young ladies because i know that everything kind of flows to our heart most of the time but in many situations we need to use our intellect that god has given us and with that being said guys let me read to you first corinthians 13 because I think a lot of times if we build our foundation on what is real and what is true and what is from the word, then the le we're less likely to fall into the enemy's trap. Because he would like nothing more than to trap you in a marriage or a situation that wasn't God's will. But because we were unaware and we didn't test the spirit by, by the spirit, you know, you may put yourself in a trap. So, with that being said, guys, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud, it does, does not dishonor others, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth, it always protects, it always trusts, it always perseveres, love never fails, but they, with their prophecies, they will cease. So everything at one point, guys, are going to fail, except for love. But now, that is the way you test whether this person is genuine. You know, because yes, God wants us to have the best. And a lot of time, counterfeits come, and they can look very genuine. So first of all, we need to make sure that we are healthy emotionally and mentally first. And then secondly, we need to make sure that those that are pursuing us for a relationship, make sure that they have some type of soundness and make sure that you are equally yoked. Because Christian to one person can mean something totally different to another. I found that out. You know, belief in God for one person can mean something different. So, guys, that's the spirit by the spirit. And if God has put it in your heart to marry, he wants things done in decent, decently and in order. And it's so awesome that we have the prophets, or the prophets, including myself, can come on and give us a word and um, tell us what God desires for us what he desires but it up is up to us to test the spirit by the spirit and to be diligent so with that being said guys thank you for watching this video if it's been helpful please give it a thumbs up thank you and stay tuned for the next video